So hi, this is Kevin Gormley, a CPA that does financial planning, and today we're going to talk about uh, the second in a series of videos on behavioral finance, and today it's about loss aversion. So many people talk about risk when you invest money, um, but there's been a lot of work done. And it's not so much the risk that we don't like. Actually, human beings don't mind taking risk. Uh, we, we sometimes enjoy gambling. We, we'll, we're willing to play the lottery which the lottery um, has an infinitesimal chance of paying off. The problem is loss. We are very, very sensitive to loss. And, you know, we've heard statistics that human beings, uh, 2.5 times as much pain that we receive from a loss than, than we receive from the gain of the same magnitude. So, so think about what's happened recently in the markets. Um, recently, we've had days where it's been 2% up, 2% up, 1% up, 3% up. And then recent, very recently, we've had days when it's been 2% down, 3% down, 1% uh, down. And what ends up happening is when we see all that red um, on our screen, there's a reason why brokerage firms and custodians like to have so much color because it causes emotion. Red color red and seeing losses in our portfolio, it makes us feel like we must do something. Um, the part of the brain that is responsible for uh, uh, looking at losses is the same part of the brain when we smell rotten food. That's the area that gets stimulated. And so there really is, there really is a physiological effect that happens in, and Jason Swag says it's in the split of a second where our brain just gets flooded with a repulsion, a terrible feeling when we see our account balances go down. And so knowing this fact is half the battle. The other half the battle is what do we do when we feel this way? Because we can feel terrible and literally it is in our head. It's not in our heart, it's in our head. Well, we need the frontal part of our brains, the frontal cortex to be the part that takes over. And it's very hard to do that. So here's the strategies I would suggest. Number one, if markets go down, um, just know it's a temporary state of affairs as long as you're diversified and try to keep reminding yourselves that it's a temporary state of affairs. Number two, think about what the great investors do. Uh, Warren Buffett, uh, Jack Bogle are two of my favorite investment people. And Warren Buffett has lost money in many years and actually he's made terrible investment decisions. He's not afraid of having his account balances be down. When uh, 2008 and 2009 happened, he was on TV constantly saying that America will come back and uh, animal spirits will come back. And uh, it seemed almost like uh, he was a, a cheerleader. Um, but in 2013, the market was up 32%. He was right. Um, so these are people, think about what they do when they're in this situation. Uh, Jack Bogle, the same thing. He's been, uh, he's seen 60 years of investment markets. He always says, we've seen this movie before. We've seen this movie before and we know how it ends. So listen to the wisdom of Jack Bogle. Listen to the wisdom of Warren Buffett. Now I'm not saying when the market goes down 10 or 15 or 20% to just pile everything into stocks at that point. I mean, we can rebalance our asset allocation because we don't know how low it's going to go. But we do know over long periods of time, if we stay diversified, the probability, and I do use the word probability, of having great outcomes is fantastic. Because if you sell today, when do you get back in? What if the market goes back up? What if the market goes further down? Will you get in then? I mean, it, it really is a challenge. So this loss aversion that is actually a physical, chemical reaction that happens in our brain when we see red. It's painful, it's very painful. The third thing I would tell you is on days when the market is down, is to go outside and enjoy nature. Go for a walk, spend some time with your family, spend some time with your loved ones, do something enjoyable, because these days, they will pass. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Kevin Gormley, a CPA that does financial planning. And when markets go down, it's painful. And we need to figure out strategies to stick together, to continue to invest like Warren Buffett and Jack Vogel. Thanks so much.